But, like, I still don't understand the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you fell off, you smacked the glass, and the glass... But here's the thing. If you're, if you're getting the strength, right? Hear me out. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't it just shatter immediately as opposed to flying off? I mean, it's a wine glass. Like, they're... He probably, like... The only way I could see that happening is that when he fell, his hand probably smacked it, and it flew. But then it should still shatter. Nah, I don't know. And then also on top of that, we don't know what your gender is yet. I really don't. I'm just reading as a man's voice. Yeah, there's nothing yeah, wrong with that. I'll, 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 I'll switch it up later. Some people call it checking out, you know? Like, you've already checked out. <laughs> you don't care. Um, but welcome back, I mean, everybody. We we're just discussing the whole thing about the wine glass, as you heard, and we're doing another episode of um, what's it called again? Uh, Vampires in Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't know the actual name. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. But well, anyways, um, we need to get close to this uh lady, I guess. Yeah, read it from the top again. But why? He calls to catch up, everybody. Inch by inch. Let go. The. Don't worry. The pain turns into whatever urge you want. You need to get close to her. That is probably the closest thing to a perfect sentence you get this entire video. Probably. All right, here we go. You begin to see the details, the long hair shrouding her face, the worn out New York City hoodie thrown over her skimpy dress. Who the hell wears a New York City ha- hoodie? I'm sorry. You're a tourist. What, uh, You're a know. tourist. She's, uh, probably. Mm-hmm. I yeah. bet you it's one of those crappy ones that you go to 42nd Street for. Yeah. And one of the stores <laughs> and it says, I heart NYC. <laughs> She opens her eyes, moves her locks to one side, exposing her neck. A rapid instinct takes you. In the blink of an eye, you find yourself biting into her hair, into her hair, smelling <laughs> her sweet mixed perfume. You bite down and drink her blood from her uvula. Uvula. Because of this way, like you bite down on her hair. <laughs> I get buried. That's a bite down. <laughs> wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. What is happening? You break away. You look at the girl. She lifts out a sigh. Goes limp and unconscious again. You try to crawl back to her. Her dress rolls up to the side and you glance at her naked thigh. Oh, hey, calm down there. Hey. You lose control again. Hey, hey, hey. You bite her leg. Whoa. Well, I mean, <laughs> nom, nom, I mean, nom, usually nom. when you go to like KFC or Popeyes, you're hoping to get that <laughs> chicken leg. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I would imagine vampires feel the same. Drink deep from the artery. Oh, oh, she dead. It's intoxicating. Yeah, she's dead. It's blissful like you never know before. It's beautiful. You break away again, fall onto your back. What the hell was that? Did you really drink her blood? She's not moving. Oh god! Ah, I got it right. She's not moving! Oh god! Yep, definitely a tourist by the looks of it. Yep. You check her pulse. She's cold to the touch. Nothing. No heartbeat. No signs of breathing. It's okay. Who will miss her? She's a tourist. Nah. That's when they hit you. Your chest isn't moving either. Your heart isn't beating. And you're cold to the touch. Well, yeah. You just committed murder. Yeah. You heartless bastard. <laughs> you reach for your phone. It's not there. Where did, you, where did you leave it? Or maybe he took it. Impossible to say. You stumbled around the apartment but find nothing. You can use the call for help. I mean, you can just You need leave. to get out of here. Yeah. You need to get out of here now. You look outside the window. You're, nigh, you're high above the streets. There's no balcony. The building's exterior is almost glass. It's, uh, yeah. 
You would never survive the jump. But maybe that's precisely why you should leave the room that way. You just killed somebody. Your life is essentially over. A sickening void is opening in your stomach, warning you that your reality, your reality is about to turn into unbearable, unbearable hell. A voice in the back of your head tells you that the smartest course of action is to take the leap before it does. And that the more you argue with it, the more reasonable it sounds. I mean, just do it. But, but I don't know. Should I re- I mean, do it. Just do it. <laughs> it's just, it. oh, it sounds so reasonable. <laughs> it's fucking, it's Palpatine. Do it. <laughs> just able to pick up one of the chairs and break the window. Then you hear the click of the keys. You freeze in place. This is bad. Your thirst starts to race desperately, but instead of the rational course of action, only visions of false hope come to your mind. <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> but if it's him. What if he's what is uh, what if he's had a change of heart? What if he sent someone for you? Um You almost feel your heart beat again. Excitement as the door opens. Almost, but not quite. A man enters, but not the one you expected. He's tall, broad shouldered, handsome, with darkish skin. His suit is stylish and immaculate. You've never seen him in, in your life, but you immediately see past his sharp looks to see his sharper nature he's a predator and you might mean you're not careful you might become his prey good evening <laughs> that's just the voice i was about to use i'm here to pick you up a deep emotionless voice that was he turns his eyes to the lifeless body of the girl in the new york city hood and raises an eyebrow. Please stop mentioning that hoodie. The girl suffered <laughs> enough. All right, this is your choice. Uh, um, who are you? Oh, I am a guy. <laughs> no, bro. I forgot. All right, go for who it. Who are you? Who are you? I am the fairy man here to take you to the other side. He approaches the bed to examine the corpse from up close. Well, this is unfortunate, but preferable to go insane from hunger. Preferable? Preferable. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a nice gesture, actually, if troublesome, hmm? He briefly looks at you with something like pity in his eyes, then changes his expression to a perfectly blank one. Lisi. You may perceive your current situation as something out of the ordinary, but I'm <laughs> a chase of lost sheep like you, and you see they tended to fall into two categories. First, there were smart ones, not you, those who carefully obeyed my every word and didn't put off any stupid sounds. They always got where they needed to go safe and sound. I could have just said there are idiots and there are not so idiots, but... Then there were the dumb ones. The idiots. See? It comes full circle. The punks who thought they could take me on. The wise guys who tried to contact somebody secretly without permission. Troublemaker who tried to run off or make a scene. None of them got to their destination in one piece, in fact. Lots of them never reached the destination at all. I mean, unless they're going to nut pain Wyoming. What the hell is he talking about? Nut in Wyoming. Wyoming. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the man talks. <laughs> Nut in Wyoming. <laughs> Go back up. What? <clears throat> yeah. The man talks in a bored, professional tone, giving off an impression that he really has delivered this speech countless times by now you see so you really see good. despite being a smart person i'm a mets fan not so smart i love baseball and inspired me to come up with three strike system to determine if someone is dumb i mean you could just do that even if you're not a fan of sports but i guess they're trying to give me a character if you get on my nerves one or two times well i understand not all of us perform well in stressful circumstances but it's if you do it three times, understand that there will be no excuse, no forgiveness. No mercy. His presence, his presence changes ever so slightly. 
This price has changed ever so slightly. See, I understand, sir. No! You feel a no for women doing That doesn't sound like I understand. The system of Earth fulfill his demand. Yeah, I understand, sir. I just want to see where this goes. Go ahead. Oh, I understand, sir. Excellent. All right. Have you got anyone you'd like to inform about your current situation and tell them you're all right? He flashes his fangs briefly and he talks. And for some reason, the sudden cause of chills went down my spine. Something wrong with me. It's a medical condition. I got it from my mother's side. Someone closest to you? <laughs> my sister. Wow, you're pretty honest, huh? And, Emma. Oh, damn. Em. Em, Emma, my sister. She's probably having a night out. In Brooklyn with her artsy friends. Can I call her now? She deserves to die. You take out your phone while I'm asking the question. It was in your pocket all along. It must have been panic talk, talking before. He shakes his head and points to, at the hoodie corpse next to him. If you want to implicate her, go ahead. I think we'll all be all better off if you let me make sure that she only knows what she needs to know. Yeah, agreed. Give me her phone number. I'll have someone get in touch with her. You oblige and hand up the smartphone so you can copy the number from your list, your contact list, your list of contacts. Thank you. This will be useful in illustrating my next point. Instead of giving you back your phone, the man hides it in his pocket. Which one is it, huh? Left one, right one, <laughs> pocket one? I'll never tell. From this night onwards, you are subject to different laws than the ones you grew up with. And you'll be watched by many eyes to ensure these laws are respected. You are forbidden from letting anybody know you are still alive. You're forbidden from showing your face anywhere they know you. If anyone comes to search for you, it's over. Both for you and them. He interrupts his mo monotone. What? Reci recitation? Mm-hmm. Recit okay. To stare deep into your eyes. I'll, I know. Are they brown? My mother used to say shit brown. <laughs> anyway, so if you don't want someone to find your poor sister's body in the Hudson River next week, cooperate. I mean, in actuality, they wouldn't find it for months, but let's say next week. The sight of his fangs again in another physical fight or fight, fight or flight, whatever. Uh huh. Played right into his hands, putting Emma in danger. I can only hope that you care for her enough not to do anything selfish. And now, give me some bubble gum. No selfish. <laughs> but now you're absolutely sure he's just toying with you, provoking you just to feed on your reactions. He hasn't told you where you're going yet, but he's already made it abundantly clear that a lot of people struggled hard to avoid getting there. He'd be far more eager to cooperate if you never raised the subject, but he made it to the point to make you fear the unknown. He's pushing you, but for what end? What does he want? To intimidate you into complete the sub submission? Is he hoping to give you an excuse to get rid of you? <clears throat> or maybe he's testing you. Forcing you to show what you're made of. Somehow, he makes it all these options seem plausible at once. Alright, I think that's enough lectures for today. Now, if you'd be so kind to Venmo me 20 bucks, like these lessons aren't free. I only have a hundred. I'll take it. <laughs> that's fine. You'll cover the other <laughs> ones too. He just glance at his silver watch. It's a Partick Philippine. That kind of brand mirror. Patek Philippe. Pat Patek Philippe, whatever. The kind of brand that mere mortals never see outside of the luxurious lifestyle magazines. Just who are you dealing with here? It was a gift from my grandfather. He makes them. They're called counterfeits. 
it's past 3 a.m. now. The sun will come up in just a few hours so we don't have much time. Come, we need to leave so that the corpse can be taken care of. Let me check this back on you to unlock the door. Head out. So, okay. You immediately follow him out of the room, but he blocks it again. You manage to take one final glimpse at the corpse. I'm sorry. You feel a pain in your conscience, but not because of your victim's horrible fate, but because you don't feel guilty even though you know you should. Wow. Yeah, Cold-blooded. <laughs> Jesus. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Something important inside of you that was still there yesterday definitely died tonight. You wonder if you'll ever recognize yourself in the mirror. I won't. I'll have things. Let's send your soldier to the elevator. You go to the ground floor. During an awkward ride, you, your dazed and confused mind desperately search for a glimmer of hope and eventually comes across one. Maybe you'll find the man you met earlier. Do you ever wonder why there's never any elevator music in elevators, but there's always that joke that there is one? Eh, some elevators have it. Who's that? Who was that man? Do you know who the... Uh, <clears throat> do you know who... Who was the man who brought me here? That's what I'd like to know as of yet he is identified. They have left no trace, and it's obvious they are not planning to come back for you. Tough nuts, you know, that's what I say. If and that is a big if you ever see them again, it will be tomorrow, and probably for the last time. For the last time? What do you mean for the last time? His face is in... Scrutable. Scrutable? Mm hmm. I said what I said. I meant what I meant. <laughs> I'll always be honest. An elephant, 100%. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All I can add for now is tomorrow is a big night for you. <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> it's your death day. The elevator opens into an empty hallway past the night guard post, which is empty. Wow, there's a lot of traffic in this hallway. Am I, am I right? Is that right? <laughs> the cold night air reminds you of the balcony just a few hours ago. The man motions the black cat like an escalator. Please, Dude, wipe I'm your feet back. before we get inside. It's a rental. Take a seat in the back, please. You get inside. The man closes the door behind you. You hear the clicks as it locks. The Cadillac is almost entirely black. The side windows seem light proof. So if you notice on the right side of the car, there's kind of a lot of going on, but uh, you okay if I turn on the radio? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, what, what, what you gonna play? Just... I haven't thought of it yet. I'm looking. Just, you know, monologue to yourself like you've been doing. Like, I've been staring at you. <laughs> He's staring at you. Staring at you. Yeah, I, know, I know you keep monologuing. <laughs> I can hear your monologues. <laughs> the man gets into the driver's seat that starts and starts the engine and drives away without comment. No. Oh. Uh, I feel horrible. I don't care where we're going. I feel, I feel horrible. As you should. He gives a little side glance into the rear view mirror and bites his lip. I love this song. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm not in a talkative mood. This won't be a long drive. Patience. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag drifting to the wind, wanting to start again? Do you ever feel feel so paper thick? It's actually a really good song. People like like a house of cards, one blown from caving in. Oh my god! <laughs> Dead silence fills the car. <laughs> he tells your eyelids to sink. 
<laughs> you just got to ignite the light <laughs> and let it shine just on the night <laughs> like the 4th of the July. <laughs> July. Did I say you can sing? No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, shit. A blurry after the image of the man who brought your painting is still there. It's strange. You never felt this way about anybody. Make me go, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to monologue to myself. Come are on. you interrupting my singing? You're in, are you interrupting my monologue? Yeah. I am more important character than you. <laughs> hey, you're not the main character of the story, all right? You're just, you're just <coughs> a stranger. Which will probably be a reoccurring character. Probably. Yeah. It makes you happy, even though you have the nagging thought that there is something fundamentally abusive about this attraction. It, yeah, it is. But then the girl... <sighs> mm, gotta scroll up, don't I? Yeah. But then the girl... But then the girl's hair spilled over the purple hoodie. At least he stayed in Satan, New York City hoodie. Yeah, that's oh, true. Mm-hmm. Keep going. And her blood spilled over the cold floor, coming to sharp. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Focus. You wince. Go back up. A little oh, bit. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. He wants to cry. But it's as if there. Go down. Mm-hmm. For no more tears left in you. After what feels like an eternity, the car comes to a stop. McDonald's? No. You get out in an underground parking lot. No happy it's meal. Ugly concrete gray thing. <laughs> Empty. But I want the grimace shape. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, go back up because I gotta reread that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. You get out into an underground parking lot. It's an ugly concrete gray thing. Empty, but for the car you came in. It looks like there's a room behind a metal door in the wall. Guess you'll live to see another night. Follow me. He's just... He opens the metal door and lets you inside. He's like right? singing to me. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skill. Here we are. There, there are your lodgings for tonight if you get hungry again. Take a look in the fridge. Tomorrow I'll come pick you up. Everybody wants to get there faster and make their way top of the hill. <laughs> it's, it's time. Your try gonna get just a little bit better. Hey, no singing! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a good song. <laughs> the craft room has no window. Just a simple bed. A single light bulb hanging from the ceiling. A small humming fridge and a, ra a rattling AC fan in the wall. It has a, the coziness of a solitary prison cell. You notice claw marks on the inside of the entrance. I, um... You gonna say something or you just keep him here? He look pretty. You know what? All of them sound dumb. Yeah. Uh, I need medical help. Yeah, that uh, seems like the least. No, yeah, the, yeah. I can't feel myself breathing. Oh, no, sorry. <coughs> Wrong voice. I can't feel myself breathing. I can't sense my heartbeat. I need to go to the hospital, man. You're gonna be fine, you bitch. No, I'm not. That's why I don't no, like. No, I don't... Oh, God. No, no! That's why I don't like any of you new. You need your hand out for everything. In my day, you were bleeding, you were fine. You could still go to work. <laughs> Listen, normally I'd lose my nerve right about now and things will get nasty, but I get it. You're scared. You don't understand what happened. I mean, 
You kept fucking interrupting please. Katie fucking Barry. You're a real ass weed. Please. I need to know. Trust me, you'll learn more tomorrow. But now I need you to rest. And you need you to... And you need you to rest. That doesn't make... Okay. That doesn't make sense. He just inside the room. Get the fuck in. You find no willpower to resist. You step inside. The, the stranger nods con 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 contently. There you go. Good night. Fucking cock. He locks the door behind you and look. It looks very secure and sturdy. You open the fridge. There's a single plastic bag there filled with red liquid, unlabeled tomato soup. Who thinks soup tomato soup? <laughs> Uh, starts knocking, starts knocking the whole. Um, excuse me, excuse me. Can I have some crackers? <laughs> like, <laughs> tomato soup. It's all teens would be nice. Thank you. Oh my god. You lie down on the bed. It's a simple mattress on a metal frame, kind of grimy and damp. You won't be saying that if you weren't sleeping on anything in the first place. I know. And it makes you grimace, but you're just too tired. Makes not you to lie grimace. Down. You're tired. <laughs> grimace, yes. <laughs> A dull feeling that makes you feel happy. You feel vulnerable and lonely. Usually, when that happens, you turn your attention to painting. Oh, good. Just not to think about it, to think about the alternative. Your family upbringing left you with no skills but artist, artistic talent. Creating art used to be something of an of an unpleasant duty. Somewhere along the line, you thought it became the only weapon you had to fight with external de despair. Some of your best work was created in new in 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 line with. Sure. That's the basically. Of impotently crying in bed. Hell. You're pretty sure a few of those pieces had your tears mixed in with the paint, like the painting that ha that led the her whole led your whole night to this. Wow, your inner monologue is basically telling you what artists tell us themselves. I really worked hard on this. Even some of my tears are in that paint. Conceited. Back at your life, and it's looking like a downward spiral. You're so tired, your entire bar tenses up, and before you know it, you drift away into oblivion. Hey, keep your eye down in there! <laughs> <laughs> Is it an Elder Scrolls? You wake up. <coughs> that in itself was a surprise. You barely remember you drifting off. It didn't feel like, quite like sleep plunging into an endless void. You imagine that some power that feels like the room is unchanged the lamp is still on the ac is still rattling the refrigerator is still humming you take a look at your watch it's almost 9 p.m you slept for 17 hours straight i wish maybe you died your breathing is gone you feel no thumping in your chest does this part is dead if you're still conscious no isn't that <laughs> i mean his body's dead no that's like uh that's called like medical death because um you remember back in the day like i can't remember what years it was but way way back when that um when they used to bury people they also had like a bell oh yeah and they had mm -hmm. to ring the bell yeah because yeah, yeah, like yeah. the heart would stop but that doesn't necessarily mean I the think person's that was dead around the plague times could be but um I think it was well no around the plague they started burning bodies oh yeah they burning yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was mainly because, uh, it, it, the whole thing is, like, if your heart had stopped, they'd considered you dead, and they're like, alright, wrap it up. And, you know, they weren't really much of, like, how coroners do their stuff now, mm -hmm. and whatever, or beauticians, or whatever the hell they morticians, sorry, yeah. beauticians, well, morticians <laughs> do their, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, they make them prettied up, too. But, like, that was yeah, the whole thing, yeah. like, their brain wouldn't be dead. If the brain dies, then it is death. But, like, if the mm -hmm. brain didn't die, like, I mean, shit. Sometimes you just need to hit the restart button and then people would freak out. And, like, that's why sometimes in some coffins, like, when they would just be like, oh, we heard screaming, all that other stuff. And they would, like, you know. Uh, they thought it was zombies. No, no. They would bring up the coffin. They would see there would be, like, scratch marks in there. So the person did eventually die. It's just they yeah, weren't dead yet. They used to make, yeah, that's what I used to have, the bells, just mm -hmm. in case. 
Yeah. To ring it. As fun, somebody woke back up. Fun, fun signs. Facts. You're not sure about that, but you are certain about one thing. You are hungry. It's not your stomach rumbling, though. What is it? It's the need that starts somewhere in your Thank you for explaining. Your chest, throat, in the back of your head. Wow, real, real PBS special in there, huh? <laughs> you open the fridge. The bag is still there. You take a closer look at it. If it is soup, then it's the color texture is off. You pull the cork. There is swift. You recognize the smell imme immediately. Holy shit. I, that's not shit. If it is, then there's a problem for you. <laughs> It's just him. He's just been watching you. No, he's just outside the door listening, and he's just like, his kid doesn't get it. Thin walls. I heard what you did before you slept. <laughs> There's no mistake. It's a bag of blood. The smell is faint, and you remember some situations in the past where you found it nauseating, but now it's almost no. Not almost. It's enticing. Yeah, drink the blood. What the hell? Wow, really? Really just going in full force, huh? <laughs> yeah. It feels wrong, but right now... It doesn't. You had the option to not... You had the option to put it back. It does not feel wrong. Shut up. You pour a bit of liquid in your mouth. Mmm. Tasty. It tastes bland. It reminds you of the cheap supermarket juice. Hey, hey, hey. Some of those juices were actually really good. He didn't say they were bla bad. He said they were bland. He said bland. Yeah, but some of them cheap supermarket juices, they were good. They and some bland. of them were Anyways. bland. Nah, some were. Yeah. It, it depended what, which what name it? brand. <laughs> Big what, Burst. What was juice? Big Burst. No, the Sunny Dale in the carton. The Sunny Dale? I think it was called Sunny Dale. It was like in this carton. It was like 50 cent. It was this like juice. I don't know. I never oh. had that. Yeah, it was fucking. Delicious. I had the quarter juices. I remember those, which was basically yeah, just water, was... a fuckload of sugar, and food coloring. Yeah. <laughs> but those were the quarter juice. Those were 50, 50 cent or seventy five cent, depending on what store you went to. I remember those. Oh my god, is that every dollar? What? Oh. Yeah, it it, you, you already said Imagine it. Imagine achievement. Okay, just a, enough flavor to register what it claims to be on the box. But nothing like the real thing. We couldn't afford the real thing. Of course. Nothing like you had you had the last time. You swallow it. Somehow you don't feel sick. In a weird messed up way, you can't help to think it feels nourishing. Almost as nourishing as it does to catch us on the next episode, everybody. <laughs> you know, we're uh, just a we're just a cheap supermarket brand of Let's Plays. Yeah. <laughs> but you know. All right, bye. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.